Hello, what's up everyone? Davis Martin, Millionaire Trader and Teacher here with you. Talking about JKS, Jenko Solar. Man, what a move for this one here already. Down 7.25% with markets not looking too good. Um, and this one here, very interesting. I sent out this morning, 72.92 support. All right, uh, that was a critical support level. It, In my opinion, this one absolutely needed to hold in order to have any possibility of a move to the upside at all all right now i just closed out puts on it because it broke the support level my trade plan was i'm gonna go bearish below it i saw markets starting to sell off a little bit i saw this one lose footing on that support level so it makes no sense to go bullish on a stock if it's trading below support right that's when you want to start thinking about going bearish so i bought the puts question from there becomes when do I get out? All right. Well, not all trades are going to be this quick. And you know what? If you learned anything at all from this trade plan, good. But keep in mind, this is not a competition about who can make the most money over who else. All right. Everyone's in this together at the end of the day to all become better, more educated traders, in my opinion. Now, why did I close this one out so quick? These trades aren't going to happen this quick all the time. All right. However, this one is a little unique. I did not think it would drop this quick. I can't control the market. I can control what I do with my trades, right? So heading down here, do you see this green line right here? That is the 20 day simple moving average line support level. Having been in a short position, meaning buying puts on this underlying security, JKS, I would be foolish to not take profits right at a support level because that's where a lot of other people are gonna be taking profits off to. And that's where the high frequency trading computers and stuff like that are gonna to start to buy, 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 buy. All right, so that's where if I'm getting greedy on the put options themselves or on the short side of things, that's where I could risk my nice gain like 2,200 bucks in a fairly short amount of time, uh, either reducing or just going away altogether. And I don't wanna do that. All right, I'm a fairly rules-based trader at the end of the day and doing things like when I'm short a stock, I have no problem trading stocks to the downside, by the way, I actually, some in some cases I prefer it over going long, right? But it, it depends on the day, it depends on the stock, it depends on the day, each one's different. I'm gonna take profits at a support level, all right? If you notice, if you saw my email about that particular trade, I outlined a, a support level, which if it broke, I'd be bearish below and another support level where it has room to dip to, all right? Um, and went lower and lower and lower. This thing just lost all footing. A lot of uh, bulls just saying, I'm out, so shorts taking the wheel. Now, 20 day simple moving average line support right here, very critical level to be paying attention to. If this one just had a lot more downside, I'd probably still be holding, if not my full position, probably at least half of it, all right? but that's not the case that's a pretty tight support level on a fairly strong stock recently which does have earnings coming up fairly soon all right now not all days are going to be like this november has been a really strong month for the dow and the s p in particular well the s p is down almost a full percent right now the dow's down over a percent right now that russell 2000 those small caps those have also been hot this month and that's down 1.83% as I'm speaking with the VIX or the market's fear index up 6%. So today's a little interesting of a day, red day. A lot of stocks going red today, all right? That's why it's important to have a trade plan for both directions. Now, what I'm gonna look for next on this underlying security personally, it's great to see what happened, you know, what did I learn here? What did I do right, what did I do wrong? What I'm gonna look for next is what happens after earnings, all right? I don't hold through earnings. That's very risky. I, I don't hold through earnings, but I'll see what happens after earnings and I'll come back to it. These solar stocks like this one, JKS, Canadian Solar, CSIQ, First Solar, FSLR, have been some pretty good names lately. All right, at, at SunPower as well, SPWR. So have been some pretty hot trades as of late. So of course I'm gonna come back to this one, but for this particular underlying security, it does have earnings soon. You won't see me holding through earnings, but I'll certainly be looking to check back on it soon. Now, I'm not expecting anyone to have made a nice juicy profit off this trade today. 
uh, just being brand new and stuff like that. But if you learned anything, even from just this video, something as simple as this support level being, okay, I wanna think about buttoning this up here because as you can see, this is where a lot of shorts are gonna, or people who buy puts like, like I did, right? Are gonna say, I'm out, I've got a profit here. And a lot of high frequency trading computers, algorithms or professional traders and stuff like that, using hotkeys on Wall Street or just automated algorithmically on Wall Street, you're gonna say, you know what? This is a level where I wanna be a buyer. And that would explain this slow but steady bounce happening in the stock itself as I'm speaking, despite markets still not having a very good day. All right, quick learning lesson. Not all trades are gonna be this quick. Not all trades are gonna be this quick, just to be honest with you, just to be you know completely realistic with you. It would be for a lot of people, they'd love for them to all be this fast. For a happy medium, maybe once in a while, all right? Not all trades are gonna be, all right, sweet. New week of trading, ready to roll. And before lunchtime, it's you know clearly a good time to start thinking about taking at some or you know maybe all of your profits. It's not gonna always gonna happen that quick. In this particular case, a little unique because markets just slipped, all right? Hope you learned something. Happy trading. Have a good one, everybody.